Oh. Oh, what more could you want? We had macaroni and cheese for breakfast. <laughs> you can tell. Happy Saturday. It is festival day in our cute little town here in Georgia. So we are getting up, getting going because there's a parade bright and early at nine o'clock. So it's 8.30 almost. We were hoping to leave by 8.30 and make sure we could get parking. But here it is, 8.30 and we still need to get car seats in the car. The plan is my mom and I are gonna take all the kids over to the parade because getting the RV like ready to go, oh gosh, it's very dark. Whoops, because getting the RV ready to go by nine o'clock would be, or by 8.30 would be a huge task. So, mom and I are gonna take the kids. Brad and dad are gonna stay here and like get the RV uh, packed up and ready to go back home. And then they're gonna, I doubt they'll even meet us at the parade. So it's mainly just to get the kids there. I did forget to pack a shirt for myself, so I am wearing the same shirt I was wearing yesterday. It's mom life. I see nothing behind it. Oh. He's just clearing the way, getting it ready for the parade. Elsu, are you ready for your first parade? <laughs> So I was telling them that they went to a parade. I was like eight months pregnant with Ada May and Ali Sue and I took them to the parade in Camdenton that was just like, oh. I think each of them got about four pieces of candy. <laughs> and it was so hot and I I just stood there and felt my legs swelling while we stood there. And, yes, I can imagine. And it was kind of lackluster. What was that parade? Was it St. Patrick's Day? Are you sure? Yeah. Hmm. So let's see, that would have been in March, and I had them in May, so that would have made sense, but I was thinking, oh, Dogwood. Dogwood. It was probably the Dogwood Festival. Festival. Yeah. Because I felt like I was just a couple weeks away from having these girls. Yeah, that would be a little miserable. It was not, not this great. This quite pleasant here. Yeah, this is, we got a breeze. Very nice. The clouds are rolling over the... We got a bag of Cheerios. Oh, what more could you want? We had macaroni and cheese for breakfast. <laughs> you can tell. I, I, saw brown, I saw a brown cloud back there. A brown one? Yeah. Whoa. Are you sure it wasn't gray? Yes, yeah, it's gray. Gray, yeah. It's coming. Okay, we did a regroup. My mom stayed at the festival with the kids because they were having a blast but the babies needed to go down for a nap. So I ran home with the babies, partially, literally, and then I brought our car home because I'm pretty sure we were parked in an area we were not supposed to be parked in, all in the name of catching the parade. But it was in one of these spots over here that are like all vacant. So anyway, the signs were confusing. We just took liberty. So I ran home, got the babies down, dad and Brad, got home with the RV not long after I got the babies down. So they're gonna stay back there and do some projects and hang out at the house while the babies nap. I'm rejoining my mom and the kids at the festival. I'm armed with snacks and bug spray and sunscreen. <laughs> so we should be ready to regroup and this festival looks awesome. I'm excited to walk around it. You guys are doing Build-A-Bear? Yeah. Oh, Plushy Pal, sorry. What do you mean, finally? I get to do Build-A-Bear, and I got a penguin. Oh, it's so cute. What did you get, Bear? An alligator? A crocodile. <gasps> wow. And Eloise got a doggy. That's shocking. Look what you get to do. Oh, very nice. You have to put it in there. Awesome. Mommy, guess what? What? 
Wow, that is so cute. Oh my goodness. That's gonna be the best dressed, is it an alligator or a crocodile? Alligator I've ever seen. Full stop. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. I think about you all the time, morning, evening, and midnight. Such a wonderful delight. Everything that I own Yeah, I'd give it all up now Just to be with you somehow Unexpected love was found You're the rose in a garden And it shows if I'm honest If that doesn't scream being a kid, I don't know what does. For the first time, these kids are experiencing the sprinkler under the trampoline. That reminds me of my childhood. Let's see, update on today's progress. Uh, Dennis and Barb started painting in here. We've decided the easiest thing is going to just be, because we don't want to, we want to keep the water access here just in case in the future, like we decide we want to do a sink in here or a wet bar or something cool like that. We're just going to frame out so we'll just, basically we'll just do a two by four length. We'll just frame out, so we'll lose about four inches of this room, but we'll just frame out a new wall because uh, we have some more of this wood paneling, actually, which we'll go look at now. We have some more wood paneling we can just put there. In here, this is gonna all be painted white so the literally had to sand the walls and obviously all the built-ins man i kind of like that color so they're not quite done yet but making pretty good progress so they'll be back tomorrow to finish sanding but yeah it took a long time mm -hmm. 